Hey guys, this is the professor. Now after I watched Colhane's video about managing bush clothes, I remembered that one of my favorite BDU pants had a big rip right across at the top of the reinforced knee. And I just put them away and left them there. But after I saw his video, I decided I can fix those in much the same way that he did. So I got them out and started putting together my sewing kit, which I'd like to show you now. And every time I needed an item to work on those pants, I made sure that that item was in my kit. Let's take a look. Now, first of all, over here, I have a little pair of folding scissors. We need these because as we harvested the back pocket out of the, uh, the BDUs, we're going to need a way to cut that out smoothly. And while you could cut that out with a knife, a little pair of scissors is a lot better way. Another thing we're going to need is a way of taking out the side seams of the pocket without damaging or losing some of the fabric because I needed all of the fabric I could get. And so this little seam ripping device is a good way because you can hook that in and cut the stitches without damaging the fabric. The nice thing about this one is it has a little lid and it folds up so it doesn't poke a hole through your sewing kit bag. Now next of all I have a small Swiss Army knife, the smallest one, the classic, which has a number of kind of useful features. Here's a fingernail clipper and a small screwdriver. It also has a small blade, but what makes the thing really useful for our sewing kit here is the fact that it has a little miniature pair of scissors, and this is extremely nice for clipping the threads and keeping everything neat and organized when you're done. Now, also, we're going to need needles, and for our needles here, we have a wide assortment, because not only are you going to be sewing up your pants, perhaps, but you may also have to sew up your tent, you may have to sew up your pack, you may have to put back uh, straps and so on off of your canteen gear. You're going to need a series of different size needles, from the biggest down to the smaller ones. Now, I suggest needles that have large eyes, because they're a lot easier to thread up when you're out in the woods or somewhere else, and uh, sometimes in low light conditions, it's difficult. Over on this side, we have some other needles. These are some curved ones, which I find to be real useful for sewing up things like tent fabric. And especially if the fabric's tough, you can take your multi-tool and hold these. Now, a nurse that I know told us that oftentimes in surgery, they use curved needles like this, using hemostats to push them through. The multi-tool would serve that purpose well. Now over here we also have a sewing machine needle that's made for leather, but the hole is near the end. And once again, holding this with your multi-tool, you can fix leather items or even tough strapping, which is on uh, packs and so on, and do a good job with that. You can shove that needle through with the thread in it, grab that, and then make the lock stitch. Another thing we have here are some straight pins. Sometimes you need some of those to hold your fabric patch in place while you sew it. The little bag itself is kind of a neat gadget. This is one that Mary Ann came up with. And of course we have the added bonus here of having married a former home economics teacher who uh, can sew anything at all on the sewing machine. But this little pouch is really neat because it has the two pockets. Everything can go in those pockets and then when it closes up, the needles and everything are secure because it has two Velcro strips on both sides and everything fit nicely in there. Of course we're gonna need some different types of thread and some spare buttons. These are BDU buttons. This is a button here that just might fit on a normal pair of pants. Uh, we've got in here some the inner strands from Paracord, and here's one of our oldest daughter's uh, diaper pins, which is very, very useful if you need to re-thread, say, the, uh, the bottom ribbon, which goes through the bottom of your BDU pants. If that comes out, you're going to need a way to re-thread drawstrings on bags and lots of other items. A few spare buttons, more spare buttons over here, several different colors of thread, which match BDUs or just about anything. And we uh, then come to our last item, and probably one of the most useful parts of the kit, and that is a large selection of different safety pins, starting out from the biggest ones and working our way down. Now you think about it, if you're out on a camping trip and suddenly the zipper goes out of your sleeping bag, you're going to be in problem. The safety pins, particularly big ones, are very helpful for that. Let me show you a repair here that I made to one of my favorite jackets, and this has turned out to be a uh, permanent temporary repair. The zipper went out of my favorite old sweatshirt here, and so I grabbed some of my big safety pins to keep that closed, 
And while this is really not worth putting a new zipper in, I really do like this sweatshirt for bringing in wood and working around here at the cabin. Hope you enjoyed my sewing kit. If you have any questions, I appreciate your comments. This is the professor, and I'll see you soon.